that our Lord was doing great. He was still confessing the word. He was pumped up. Praise God. We just went in and encouraged him. And if he can encourage a man, if this message can encourage a man that has got all grades of bad news, it ought to be able to encourage anybody in the room. Amen. 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 Anybody in the room that should be able to be encouraged. Right. And you know, you'd be, sometimes you'd be surprised how God puts things together. Yeah. But Pastor Nathan, we, we, we haven't been conferred at all. But the first song that we sang tonight, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us. That's the long we're preaching on tonight. Right. Good. Amen. Amen. Turn with me, if you will, to 1 John chapter 4. I'm going to be short, but like I said, I've got to go to the hospital when, when this is over tonight. But uh, I still believe we can. I believe we can be encouraged tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Look at verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want you to know tonight that the greater one, God Almighty, El Shaddai, yes. lives on the inside of you. Amen. If you've asked Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, he took up residence on the inside of you. Amen. You are his dwelling place. You are his temple. Praise God. And God lives in you. And God lives in me. The greater one lives in us. I like what Romans 8 and 11 has to say. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also quicken or make alive your <coughs> mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth on the inside of you. We have a hope, people. Amen. We have a hope. I don't know what you may be facing tonight. I don't know what you might be going through. But I want you to know you are not by yourself. Amen. You are Amen. not alone. Because the greater one, he lives on the inside of you. All you've got to do is be conscious that he's there. Amen. We need to be God inside minded. Right. We need to know that, hey, beyond a shadow of doubt, that God lives in me. Amen. We are his temple. We are his dwelling place. We are his habitation. We are his home in the earth, praise yes. God. Yes. Yes. And he lives on the inside of you, and he lives on the inside of me. We must realize that the greater one, yes. the yes. greater one, yes. the greater one, yes. he lives on the inside of us. He's greater than sickness. Amen. He's greater than disease. Amen. He's greater than death. Amen. He's greater than diabetes. Amen. He's greater than cancer. Amen. He's greater than heart trouble. He's greater than anything that you may face today. God is greater. He's greater than COVID-19. Why are you standing at home, people? Come on out. The greater one lives on the inside Amen. of you. Amen. Come out of that, out of that place of, uh, that you're being uh, held hostage by the devil. Come out and come on back in the church. Because the Bible says, for us not to forsake the assembly of ourselves together at the matter of Sunday, but we're to come in and we're to strengthen one another. We're to help lift one another. We're to build one another up. Yes. It's all about us coming together as a body in unity in Christ. And the greater one, he lives in us. Amen. And we had to become God inside mind. Yes. You know, in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, let me read it to you. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. Glory to God. Somebody said, the greater one lives in me. The greater one lives in me. The greater one, he lives in me. We need to become conscious of that. We need to realize that. We just don't need to merely to assent to it. We need to really grab a hold of that truth and realize that, hey, there's nothing that we face that we cannot conquer because the greater one lives on the inside of us. Amen. The greater one. Greater is he that's in me than he's in the world. Yeah. Now, before I go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, 16, I want to say something. 
You know, most people that confess, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You know the only time that they confess that scripture? I can tell you the most time when the only time they confess that scripture is for when they're facing something and they're scared. That's right. yeah. They're fear motivated. Yeah. We cannot be fear motivated. We have to be faith motivated. Yeah. Yeah. We have to be motivated by the word of God. Because the word of God in life that will put us over. So the greater one lives in us, yes, it works against fear. But it works against so much more than just fear. Amen. It works against marriage trouble. Mm -hmm. The greater one lives on the inside of you both. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know when you got married? This is for the couples now. When you got married, you no longer became me were two different individuals. But inside the God, you became one. And the greater one lives on the inside of you as a unity, as one. Yes. And there's nothing that you're facing that you should not be able to work out because the greater one works, lives in you. Amen. Right. Yes. There should not be a Christian person going after divorce. You should be able to work it out. Why? The greater one works in you. Right. He lives in you. Amen. He dwells in you. He's your habitation. Praise God. You're his habitation. And he lives on the inside of you. Praise God. Oh, yeah. All right, let's look at uh, verse uh, 16 of 2 Corinthians chapter 6. And it said, And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple. Say, I am the temple. I am, I am the, the temple. temple. I am the temple. I am the temple. Of the living God. Of the living God. For God has said, I will dwell in them, I will walk in them, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No other, no other people since the birth of Jesus Christ had that promise. Before the birth of Jesus Christ had that promise. God came upon them. In the Old Testament, God came upon them. His Spirit came upon them. But since we have asked Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior, He not only just comes upon us, but He's come to live on the inside of us That's to right. empower us to face any obstacle, any situation, any circumstance that comes our way. Why? Because the greater one lives in it. We cannot afford to let situations or circumstances or even outcomes of different situations and circumstances move us off the Word of God. I don't know what the outcome will be with George. That's between him and God. But I know one thing. Either way, he wins. Amen. He wins. Amen. Yes. If he don't get his miracle here, well, he steps into the pearly gates, guess what? He gets his miracle. Praise Amen. God. No more sickness. No more pain. No more No more uh, 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 loneliness. Uh, he been laid up for eight months. No more loneliness, no more despair. All pain and suffering, gone, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, now, I've got my faith out there with it. I believe in with him. I had Brother George, praise God, the greater one lives in you. He said, yep, the greater one lives Amen. in me. I said, the greater one lives in you, George. He said, the greater one lives in me. I said, the greater one lives in you. He said, the greater one. I said, he's greater than that cancer. He's greater than that tumor. He said, he's greater than this cancer. He's greater than that tumor. Why? Because the greater one lives on the inside of you, and he lives on the inside of me. Now, we've got to come to the realization that the word of God is true. Amen. We've got to realize that. The word of God is true. No matter what may dictate some other answer or some other thing, the word of God is true. Amen. If we we'll speak to the mountain, what will the mountain do? Move. The mountain will be removed. Amen. The word of God is true. Amen. We cannot let our problems or our situations dictate to us what we are, what we have, and what we can be in this life. You know, Bishop, you should hold up this Bible. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I can do what I say and what it says I can do. Y'all right. remember that? Yes. Well, this is what it is. Yes. 
We can do what it says we can do in this. We have what it says we have. We are who it says we are. We are the children of God. If we believe in Jesus Christ, we have already overcome the world. Amen. That's what 1 John chapter 5 says. If those that believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, is the Son of God, they have already overcome the world. Amen. Guess what? We've already overcome sickness. We've already overcome cancer. We've already overcome poverty. We've already overcome disease. Why? Because the greater one lives on earth. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and we are overcomers in this life, and especially in the life to come. Glory. Woo, glory. Thank you. I know I'm going too fast. No. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I said I saw some heads going this up, but I did I did address my honey, y'all. I'm just so but we have to get in the Word to find out what belongs to. If we don't get in the Word to find out what belongs to, we're going to miss out. Amen. We have to get in this Word. This Word should be final authority in our life. I don't care what the doctor says. I don't care what the doctor said. This Word still has to be the final authority in our life. I don't care what your pocketbook may say. This word still has to be the final authority in your life. You said, you know, Philippians 4, 13, said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Why can't you do that? Because the greater one lives in you. He empowers you. He, he gives you power. He gives you strength. When I bought my car, my used car, I've got a 73 uh, Chevrolet Nova. And I have never done nothing like this before. I tore the whole front end away from that note. But when I went out and tore that out, I said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. That was my scripture. I stood on that scripture. I can do all things. I took, I took all the all the uh, control lawns. I took all the bushes out. I took all the all the stuff I can <laughs> under there and, 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 and replaced it and put it back and found the, the right uh, torques for everything, put it back, torqued it all together. And if Curry got it to line up, that thing drive like a Cadillac. <laughs> Why? Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Why? Because the greater one lives in me. The greater one lives in you. The greater one lives in us and I. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Ah, upon receiving Jesus as Lord and Savior of my life and being filled with the Holy Ghost, God the Father. Ah. God the Son and God the Holy Ghost came to live in me. Amen. Glory to God. I want you to know that the fullness of God comes to live in you when you receive that. Your brother Wayne, now I don't know about the fullness of God come to live in you when you receive Jesus. Well, let's see what Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17 through 19 says. It said, That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. That Christ may live in your heart by faith. That ye being rooted, that's part some people's problem that they ain't rooted. Right. You being rooted and grounded. Uh, they ain't grounded either. But you've got to be rooted and grounded. <laughs> Guess what it says in? In love. In love. In love. I call faith only works by what? Love. love. If you ain't in love, don't expect your faith to work. Alright. But you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height and to know the love of Christ with passive knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or all that we think According to the power that works in us. According to the power that works in us. According to the power that works in us. Unto him, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end. Amen. Amen. And that scripture is found in Ephesians chapter 3. I want you to know tonight that God lives in me. Amen. God lives you. Amen. 
Amen. God the Father lives in me. Hallelujah. God the Father lives in you. Right. God the Son, Jesus himself, lives on the inside of you. God the Holy Ghost, he lives in you. Right. Ah, when you walk in the room, guess who walks in the room? Jesus. Jesus. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And through him, Jesus said, without me you can do nothing. But if you got him, you can do what? All, All things. things. So when you walk into the room, you can make a difference. Amen. Yes. Amen. I can make a difference. That's the reason we're here tonight. I'm not talking about in this church. I'm talking about we're here on this earth to make a difference in the earth. Amen. God can work through you and he can work through me. Yes. Why? Because he lives on the inside of us. Yes. Uh, we must come to the realization and understand that we are only the vessel in the earth and that God, he is the water. Oh, what is that? And I am only the cup. He is the life giving force, and I am only the vessel that is in the All praise be given to the water and none to the cup. All right. We talk a cup of water, we take a cup of water, we pour the water in the cup. The cup is only what? The vessel. Mm -hmm. But the life giving force is in the cup, which is the water. Jesus said, be you baptized in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I must realize, we must realize that in order to do what God has called us to do, we must come to the realization that Jesus lives on the inside of me yes. and he can work through me and he'll work through me if I'll keep my vessel clean. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Got to keep my vessel clean. That's right. I got to keep my vessel clean. There's some things that I might have to lay aside. The Bible said, lay aside every sin that does so easily beset you. Amen. There's some things sometimes we had to lay aside. Why? So that God can work, so that God can flow through us. You know, it's one of my desires that when I lay hands on the sick, I want to see them instantly recover. Praise God. I want, when I lay my hand on the blind, I want to see them see. Praise right. God. When I put my tongue, my hand on so a deaf tongue, I want to hear him speak, Pastor Mark. I want to see that. And we can see that. Amen. If we realize that it's not us doing the work. That's but right. we are only the vessel that God lives in. And the greater one, the greater one, yes. he lives on the inside of you. Amen. And he lives on the inside of me. Now, I don't know about you, but this is something I did. I went through one day, and I just... I just sat down and I got to think about God lives on me. The spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells on the inside of me and he quickens my motor box. And I just went through and started writing down things. Praise God, God lives in me. God lives in me. The Father lives in me. The Father, the Father of all creation, he lives in me. Oh, if he can create the sun, he can create the moon, he can create the universe, praise God, he can do anything in me. Why? Because he lives on the inside of me. Just took that word, just begin to realize that God lives in me in his fullness. All I got to do is believe. Yes. Amen. All I got to do is believe. That's right. Believe to keep my vessel clean and speak right. That's right. I'll just pray. Father, we love you tonight. Thank you. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you live on the inside of us. There's nothing more that comes our way that we cannot handle because the greater one, you live on the inside of us, Lord God. We will not be cast down. We will not be discouraged. We will not, oh, Father God, in Jesus' name, bow down to the world and to the devil, Father God, because the greater one, you live on the inside of us, Lord, and we ask you to live big through us and reach a that lost and dying world. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. 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 Now, I'm about finished. I'm about finished. All right, we've been talking about the greater one lives in us, right? You know what we need to do? I'm going to tell you something we need to do. As never before. We need to go out. Because the greater one lives in us. And we can do this because we can do what? All things in Christ is us. And we need to begin to start inviting people to church. Yes. Right. yes. We need to begin to start passing out tracts. We've got a plenty of tracts out at the at the at our, our welcome center at the other church. You get some of those tracts, you begin to invite people. Let me tell you something. If we don't invite people, 
All we we'll have is a straggler visitor from time to time that come in the door. We've got to get excited about our church. We got to get excited about our God. And we got to get to tell, tell people, hey, we got the best church around, praise God. We got the best people around. We got the best pastor around. We need to invite people to come in the church. Yes. Now, if we don't invite them and we just wait on a visitor from time to time, can I, can I be honestly too truthful yes. with you? You know what will happen to the church? It'll dry up. It'll dry up. It'll dry up. Because you've got to continue to have new life yes. coming in. Amen. So it's your job, it's your job, it's your responsibility, it's your responsibility, it's my responsibility to begin to invite people to come to church. And we can do that. Why? Because the great old one lives on the inside yes. of us. And we can see God touch and change the life. Amen. Well, God bless you. I love you. Anybody, anybody need prayer tonight? I'm stirred up. <laughs> If I need prayer, no prayer. If I like you got anything you want to say, praise God. I tell you what, invite somebody to church, and we'll see you Sunday morning Amen. on Highway 58. God bless you. We love you. And great, don't forget, the greater one, the greater one, Amen. the greater than anything you face lives on the inside of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. Amen.